Good day grade 10s, welcome to our last lesson on trig functions. Today we're going to learn about the turn graph. So just like we did in all the others, what we're going to be doing is plotting some points to get the shape of the graph and then we're going to mess around with the graph and see what we can do at different points. And we're looking at the amplitude, the range and the period as well. So first off, let's start by plotting in some points. So tan of 0. So again, I need my calculator, so let me go hunt it down. So tan of 0, let's clear it. So we go tan of 0 is 0. Okay, was well, that nice and easy? So if we go back here and we get ourselves a little pen going, we can see that tan of 0 is 0. Let's now look at what tan of 30 is. Tan of 30 is going to be 0.58. 0.58. So tan of 45, tan of 45 is 1, okay, then we go tan of 90, tan of 90, and it says math error, math error, and the reason it says math error is because it is actually the tan graph is undefined at 90 degrees, in fact, it has got an asymptote. So we're going to write there undefined. Okay, now let's do tan of 120. So let's go find a calculator and we're going to go tan of 120 and it's minus 0.27. So do you see this has got a very interesting shape? It's minus 0.27. Then let's go tan of 180, tan of 180. And that is zero. Okay, so that is zero. Then tan of two ten. Tan of two ten. And that gives you 0 0.58 again. So now we're starting to see a pattern. 0 0.58. Okay. 225 is tan of 225 is one. So tan of 225 is one. 240. Tan of 240 is 1.73, 1.73, 270, tan of 270 is going to give us a math error again. And the reason for that is again, it's because it's an asymptote, it's undefined. So, so therefore we're going to write undefined here, then we're going to do tan of 300. So we're going to go tan of 300. Ooh, that just didn't work. Let's clear that all together. And then go tan of 300. And that gives you minus 1.73. So now again, we're starting to see a pattern. That's minus 1.73. And tan of 360. Let me go find my calculator. Tan of 360 is equal to zero. So let us plot this. You can see that the y values range from 0 to 1.73 and from um, minus 0 to minus 1.73. So I'm going to put this to be a big 2 up here and that's a 1 and this is going to be a minus 1 and a minus 2. So let's now plot some of these points. So at 0, tan is 0. At tan is 30 degrees, it's 0 0.58, which is kind of over here, okay? At tan of 45 degrees, it's at 1, 1, okay? At 90, it is undefined, which means that it's actually got an asymptote. There's an asymptote here, and while we're at it, we might as well draw this asymptote at 270 degrees. There it is there. So the graph, this tan graph is known for its asymptotes. The fact that it has these asymptotes and the basic tan graph has just got asymptotes at 90 and at 270. Right, so if I have to draw this, what I'd like to be seeing, I'd be seeing a graph that goes up, 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 up towards infinity. Now let's look at the next couple of points. At 120, it's at minus 0.27. So at 120, it's minus 0.27, which is about minus a third, which is over here. At 
210, no sorry, at 180 it's at 0. At 210 it's at 0 0.58. At 240 it is at sorry at 225 225 so this is 210 225 is about over here it's at 1 and at 240 it's at 1.73 1.73 which is going to be 1 and almost up to 2 so you can see that this graph is doing something like that okay so the graph is curving like that. Now let's look at 270. 270 is undefined. At 300 it's again at minus 1.73 so the has your minus 1.73 so it's over about over here and at 360 it's at 300. So this graph is doing that. Oh that's a horrible line. Let me just redraw that last line again so that I can get that nicer for you guys. So Therefore, your basic graph is doing that. And this is your basic shape of your time graph. I do have a nice printed one at the end of the, the set of notes so you can see what it actually is supposed to look at when it's not being so horribly distorted by my horrible writing. But that is your time graph. So you'll see that it goes, and this is from 0 to 360. Okay, so it starts at 0 and it ends at 360. But what is important is you'll notice the amplitude is that it carries on forever. There is no amplitude. So the amplitude is non-existent. You could basically say it carries on to infinity. So in fact it goes from minus infinity to positive infinity which is exactly the same as the range. Do you see that it carries on from minus infinity to plus infinity? What we do use which helps us with our tan graphs we know that the basic tan graph is always going to go through 1 at 45 degrees. So at 45 degrees we're going to have that point there which is 1 and at 225 degrees we're going to have again a 1. Okay? Everybody happy with that? And at 100, yeah, so that's that. Now your period, and this is where the graph stretches, and you will notice your period here is it takes how many degrees to finish? Do you see that that whole distance there is one whole graph? So the period for this is actually 180 degrees. It stretches the whole way across one cycle in 180 degrees and then it repeats itself. So the basic time graph has basically no amplitude but it has a range from minus infinity to plus infinity and the period is 180 degrees. Right, now let's see what we do and if we manipulate the graph. So this time we're looking at y equals 2 tan theta. y is equal to 2 tan theta. So again, I'm going to be plotting some points to see what we can get. So we know that tan of 0 is 0. If we multiply by 2, we get 0. We also know that if we had y is equal to tan theta, that that if it was y is equal to tan of 45, I said to you it was a distinguishing thing that it is equal to 1 and 1 times 2 is 2. But to prove it to you, I'm going to put it in the calculator. So here we go. We're going to go clear it and we're going to go 2 times tan of 45 and we're going to get 2. And while we're here, let's just do 90. We should know that 90 is an asymptote and therefore it should be undefined, but let's just check. So we're going to go clear it again, I don't know why, 2 times tan of 90 and oh my hat, a math error, which means it's undefined. So we knew that. Let's do tan of 180. So this time we've got 2 tan of 180. 80. So that, oh, 10,000. Oh, that's just terrible. Let's just clear that all together and let's try again. 2 tan of 180 equals 0, which is what we got last time. So maybe this was fine. So we know that this is undefined and we know that this is 0. Let's see what happens if we have 270. So again, let's use our calculator and we've got clear it 2 tan of, what are we looking for? We're looking for 270 
to 70 and that again is a math error. Why? Because we know that's an asymptote. And finally let's just do tan of 360. So if we go 2, let's just clear that, sorry, and clear it, 2 tan of 360 and what do we get? We get 0. So this here we know is undefined and that is 0. So let's have a look at this. What have we noticed? We've noticed, and this is the most important thing with this graph, we've noticed that it stays at 0, but at 45 degrees, when the normal graph is going through 1, this graph is going, would the normal graph would be going, so let me just show you what the normal graph would look like. Let me put the normal graph in green. The normal graph has got an asymptote at 90, right? And another one at 270, right? And then the normal graph would be going through, if this was 45, it would be 1, and it would be going wee up like this. And then if this was over here, this would be going through minus 1, and it would be going through here, it would be going through plus 1, and the graph would be doing this, like that. And then finally it would be going, okay, fine, well that's about over there, so that's minus 1. And there we go. That is what the normal graph looks like. But in this case, what has happened? Unfortunately, the numbers that were chosen on this graph don't really show us much. So we can use some other numbers and just check them. So let's look at this. We know that at 45 degrees, it's now going through 2. Okay. And where it was 1, what would this be? This 90 plus 45 is 135. So let's see what would happen to our thing if we went our graph if we went 2 times tan of 135. 135. And we get minus 2. So we can see that at this point here where before it was at minus 1, it's now going to be at minus 2. Now let's look at say this point here which is 225. Before it would be at 1. Now let's see what happens when we put this in. We've got, I'm going to clear it, and we're going to go 2 times tan of 225, and it's 2. So do you see that the graph has actually been, even though effectively we don't have an amplitude, the gradient has increased. We've actually stretched this graph up so that it is further up at a specific angle. Okay, and similarly, yeah, this would be going through 2 and it's being stretched. So the 2 in the front actually messes with our amplitude. It affects our amplitude. And we know for the fact, therefore, that, oh, sorry, I didn't even draw this one. Sorry, sound effects. Okay, so what that means is that the easiest way for you guys to work out how this affects it is to go for our tan of 45. So you got why is it got a tan of 45? We know that it's supposed to equal 1. So then if you've t put that in and you end up with a 2, what have you done? You've increased the graph, okay? You've doubled the amplitude. So we've doubled the amplitude of this graph, but we have no way of stating it. So the amplitude is still just from minus infinity to plus infinity. The range is still minus infinity to plus infinity for the simple reason that it stretches all the way down there from there. The period of this graph, the period of the graph is still 180 degrees. It goes from 92 to 70. And in case you're wondering how I get 180, 270 minus 90 is equal to 180 degrees. The period of this graph is 180 degrees. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Let's say it's negative tan theta. So if we pop negative tan theta in, what do we know from having learnt before? We know that from learnt, looking at the sine graphs and the tan graphs, we expect the negative to mean that we're swapping the graph over. We're swapping it over. So let's look at this. We know that naught is naught. Okay, and why don't we draw, do what I wanted you to do in the first place, which is draw the graph, the original graph, and then let's look at what we're doing and see if we can do this without the use of a table and without the use of a, and a minute, um, without the use of a calculator. You guys can still check all my numbers using a calculator. I'm very happy for you to do that. 
but I just want to show you that it's actually possible for you guys to work this out without using a calculator and without using a table. And the more you practice doing it this way, the easier the graph is going to get and the, the graph manipulations are going to get as you carry on. And then this is over here, it's going to be there, and it's going to be minus 1. So that is your basic y equals tan theta. Right, basic y equals tan theta graph. Now let's talk about what are we doing with this. What are we doing? We are timesing it by minus 1. So in other words, where it would normally be at 0, it's still going to be 0 because 0 times a minus 1 is, I mean a 0 is just a 0. But at 45, it would normally be at 1. But 1 times by minus 1 is going to be minus 1. So now it is going to be at the negative. So this graph is doing this, which is what we kind of expected. Now let's look at this tan of 135. Now let's put this in the calculator just to prove it to you. So in this case, what am I doing? I'm going the negative tan of 135. And we end up with 1. So therefore we can see that it actually is up here. The naught is still going to be 0. And tan of 225 is going to be negative 1. And that makes sense because why? Because we are actually just flipping this graph, where again, a negative in the front is just swapping, swapping this graph across the x-axis. Remember we said this, we're looking at a mirror image. So, if, so it doesn't matter if we're doing sine, cos, or tan, we end up with a flipped graph. So therefore, obviously, this is going to be going well, it's up here and it's going to be going through. So you'll note that when I'm drawing this graph, what are my reference points? I know that since I'm not messing with the x value, the theta values, my asymptotes are going to be at 90 and 270. I know my significant points are 0, okay, and 45, 1, and then we add 180 degrees, I mean, yeah, you add 90 degrees to it, and we end up with 135, and we go, which is going to be 1, add another 90, we get to 225, and so on and so on. So these are my significant points. So again, the amplitude in this case, the only thing that's happened is we've reflected, we've reflected across the x-axis. Okay, the range hasn't changed. It is still minus infinity to positive infinity, and the period is still 180 degrees. So nothing of those have changed. Let's do one more. Let's look at y is equal to tan theta plus 1. And again, I'm just going to draw my basic cos tan graph. I don't know why I said cos. Basic tan graph. And I know at 45 degrees it goes through 1. At 135 it goes through minus 1. At 100 it goes to 0. At 225 it goes to positive. And over here it goes to negative. And then I just join the dots. Okay. And I join the dots. It's getting better. And let's not hope I spoke too soon. Beautiful. Okay, right. So that is your basic y equals tan theta plus 1. So now again, I do not want to even look at a calculator. I don't want to look at a table. All I'm going to do is look at this graph. And we know that a tan of 0 is normally 0. Okay, sorry, that was y is equal to tan theta. y of tan of 0 is just 0. But now what are we doing? We're adding 1 to it. So now the graph is going to start over here. Okay. If we're going through 45, normally tan of 45 is 1. But now we're adding 1, so therefore it is going to be at 2. So this graph is now doing that. Now let's look over here. Tan of 135 is usually minus 1. That minus 1 plus 0, I mean plus 1 gets me up to 0. Tan of 180 degrees is 0. But if I add 1, I'm going to be going up to 1. And tan of 225 
is normally 1, but if I'm now got 1 and we add another 1, we end up at 2. So this time the graph goes like that. And finally the last one, at year it is normally minus 1, but minus 1 plus 1 is actually going to be 0. So therefore it is, and at 360 is normally 0, so it's going to be at 1. So therefore the graph goes like this. So you can see the graph has done what? It's obviously shifted. So again, just like with our sine curve graph, sine graph, our cos graph, our parabola, our hyperbola, if we add one or subtract one, we are shifting it. So this there shifts the graph up or down, up or down. Okay. So the amplitude, it hasn't done anything to the amplitude. The amplitude is still not important. The range hasn't made a difference. All it's done is shifted it up. So again, it is from minus infinity to positive infinity. And the period is still going from 270 to 90. So it is still 180 degrees. So in summary, do you see how beautiful this graph is? Much better than my horrible graphs. Y is equal to a tan theta plus q. Your a is your amplitude. So the bigger the amplitude, basically the steeper the graph is going to be. The steeper the graph. Okay, so the steeper your gradient. Okay. If it's a negative, what does it do? It flips it across the x-axis. Flips it. And then a Q shifts the graph. So Q, if it's positive, is going to shift the graph upward. And if it's negative, it's going to shift the graph downward. Right, grade 10, that's it for town graph. I really want you to go and practice, 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 and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.